Hey, we're just trying to make videos, right? What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode on the Copart car. I've been working on this thing, getting everything removed, all of the broken pieces, just kind of finding out exactly what I need to pick up from the, the salvage yard. And literally no frame or part of any metal, any frame on this car is bent at all. No frame damage whatsoever. It's pretty much all remove and replace these broken parts that are missing right here. <laughs> but literally, it's crazy like how lucky I got with this car. The frame horns are not bent at all. They're completely straight. We got our radiator removed. We got sensors up here that are removed. Uh, they were cracked and busted, so we gotta replace those. We removed an AC line. We removed the power steering fluid jug. We removed the crash bar, which goes right here. It's over here on the floor, and this thing doesn't even have any damage to it. Crash bar is a 100% straight. Okay, maybe 99% straight, but we can we can bend this piece back to be straight. So uh, this plastic piece right here is busted down here, so we'll probably try to replace that. But why is my garage floor so? wet looking. Nothing has been wet in here for a long time. Am I just tracking oil all over the place or what? Uh, anybody got a good solution for um, getting these stains out of the pavement in my garage? I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. That'd be awesome. Literally, the engine runs it drives. It's been really cold here, really wet, and I'm not trying to go walk through a muddy salvage yard and pull parts off of busted car and freezing cold temperatures. So, the windshield is busted. I don't believe that was from the wreck. I think that was from the hood getting pushed back and them opening the hood, because that's where the corner of the hood was touching the windshield. So, this windshield probably wasn't broken in the actual accident. It probably was broken by somebody after the accident trying to rip open the hood and busting the windshield. So, I guess you get what you get and we gotta replace that, which is fun. Replacing glass in a car is not the funnest thing in the world. <laughs> but. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. I would like to clean it or wash it, but we got, we got so many electrical connections that are open on the front of this engine, I don't want to do any washing because that'll mess up computer and electronics and all that good stuff. So, just gonna replace all these missing parts. The only thing inside the interior that needs replaced is literally this driver's airbag. Well, I guess the seat belts, whoa, it's not locked up. Oh, I don't even need to replace the seat belt. <laughs> Usually, if, if you get a wreck, your seat belt is gonna lock up, it's gonna jam, and then you gotta replace the whole seat belt. But this one seems to be 
It must have not been wearing it in the accident because I wonder if the vehicle might not have even been moving when it got hit. Because the seatbelt's still good. Uh, I think we might have to replace the, um, the airbag module or the safety module for the seatbelts. I don't know, we'll find that out uh, when we get into it. But for now, we're looking at the steering wheel, replacing that. And the rest of the car literally is in very good condition. It's only like a two to $3,500 car. And I'm thinking we're gonna spend a few hundred dollars in parts, maybe a little more. <clears throat> it's gonna need paint, but I might explore on that and paint it myself. I don't know yet. We'll see. I do have an air compressor. I can buy a paint gun and we can, we can give it a shot. It might not be the best paint job, but hey, we're just trying to make videos, right? <laughs> so that's gonna be it for today's video. If you wanna see us rebuild the rest of this car, you might wanna consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button, please. It really helps the channel out a lot. The next video for this car will be coming up very soon. So stay tuned. Uh, hit that notification button if it's still there. I feel like YouTube deleted the, or got rid of the bell notification. I haven't seen it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. And that's gonna be it for today. Peace.